Hello everyone, Philippe again, being here with Dania, working with the difficult situations that we can face when playing half guard. Let's continue people, nice to see you. And let's start by moving the head sideways. Up and down. <coughs> Circle in the head, both sides, arm, the other arm, and hips. forward, one side, the other side, also one time to the side, people. <coughs> Switching sides without using feet or hands by extending the leg to one side, extending the leg to the other side, bringing elbows and knees together, also two times to the side, and wrapping up the solo drills by rolling over the shoulder backwards, forward, always over the shoulder, always controlling the hips so you can finish in the same line that we had before. Five times each side of one, back and forth. Let's go to the party grooves. Okay, people, recapping another exercise that we've done, right? I just want to uh, use my hip to get the underhook from here. Daniel has the underhook, so I want to get mine. So from here, Feet on the floor, pinching my knees together. I'm just gonna push my knees all the way to the other side, making Dania post. As she pose, I got my underhook, push her up, and I'm gonna be in a comfortable position for me. For the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna let Dania push my head. She's gonna get the underhook, and we're gonna start over, okay? She's flattening my back. She has the underhook, really bad scenario for me. So here. Feet next to her knee, pinching my knees together. I'm just going to elevate my hip a bit, push my knees to the side, then it's gonna pull so she doesn't fall. Now I have space to bring my hand through and get in the other foot. Situation that we've seen before, we're just going to be playing like this, all right? <clears throat> to get the other hook, again, to pull. If you guys are not familiar with this, I think I showed this in the first week of the half guard situation. Check that out. And you guys are gonna find the details for this position. One and a half minute on one side, then you guys switch. And one and a half minute on the other side. Barbs on the bottom, get on top, and you guys can move towards the next exercise. All right, people, working here, uh, starting with the knee shield, just recapping a little bit of the deep half, either grabbing on my opponent's collar or bringing my wrist under my opponent's armpit just so I can make my opponent move forward. I'm going to remove the knee shield. I'm gonna bring the bottom arm under her leg, connecting my head forwards. Her leg, I'm gonna push my hip all the way to the other side, ending on the deep half. If I'm not mistaken, I show the deep half in the third week of the half guard position. So if you guys need more details, just check it out. Got to this position, I'm gonna keep my knees close together, elbows close together. I'm going to, just like we did before, push my legs forward, turn to the other side, and bring myself up until I have the top position and got the sweep. From here, just gonna let Diane do the same to me. She's gonna grab my collar. She's going to remove the knee shield and grab my leg. From here, she's going to extend her legs and put me in a deep half, connecting herself to the bottom leg right here. 
10 with 10. She's going to move all the way back, bringing herself up. She's gonna have the top position. And we're just gonna be playing like this, starting with the knee shoes. I go through, isolate her legs, control her legs, bring myself up, and I'm gonna have the top position. We're just gonna be switching positions like this. Like I said before, we're just recapping the old exercise we've done just so we can keep this fresh in your minds. If you guys need more details, go back to the third week, I guess. You guys are gonna find there, all right? Two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, and we're gonna move towards today's position. That's what people... Oh, okay, well, so today, uh, like I said, we're gonna keep working on difficult scenarios for our half court players. And I'm gonna talk about one that people hate a lot. All right, this is for a half court players. One of the worst scenarios that we can have is when my opponent crosses the body over twisting their hips and they end up in this scenario right here and this is very difficult okay people because right now what we have is our opponent's uh, uh, body over the chest which quite, uh, makes it very difficult for us to, uh, to move our shoulders and my opponent is also like probably pushing my leg to try to free her leg which is a very uncomfortable scenario, very difficult to work from here, but of course we still have some options. So what am I going to do from here, the one? So my opponent is cross, and I want to remove the weight out of my body, okay? And we talked about this last week when we talked about weight distribution. You guys can see right now that Daniel's hip is a little bit above the floor. You can see that I can slide my hand through. That means that this foot that she has right here is pushing her weight onto my chest, okay? And that's why it feels so uncomfortable. So what are we going to do? I can show this gi and no gi, all right? But uh, let's start here with the gi option. So first of all, I want to make sure that I get kind of a control of her shoulder and hip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start getting grip here on her sleeve and I'm gonna start pushing her elbow towards my hip, okay? Another grip that I can do if I cannot reach is I can bring, no, is it here then? I can bring my arm through, I can close my elbow over her elbow, and I can either grab the shoulder or the collar. All right, both work, okay, up to you. Just make sure that you have a good control. The other grip that I wanna have is either on my opponent's ankle, all right? And if we're talking no gi, that's a grip that you guys need to have. Or I can simply grab my opponent's pants if we're talking gi. Okay, up to you. All right, with the gi we can choose. With the no gi, you guys are going to be st uh, stuck with the ankle grip. All right, so I'm going to choose the grip on the pants. And I'm going to choose to push her elbow towards my hip. So now what I'm going to do, since I have those two controls, I'm going to start pinching my knees together so I can have her leg properly trapped. And I want to move my entire body all the way here, okay? So I'm going to use the grips and the legs to drop her shoulder on the floor. So I'm going to keep myself tight and I can even go back and forth because Every time that I push that in this direction, she's gonna react by throwing her weight on top of me. Oh, and I can have this. Okay? Now that I have this position, I'm gonna keep the grips and then it's gonna have a really hard time coming back. Okay, so I already have a good control. So from here, the only thing I wanna do is roll over the shoulder that I have on the floor. Okay, we've done this uh, uh, similar position to this one. So I'm gonna have my left shoulder on the floor. I'm going to extend my legs roll over the shoulder and I'm gonna end up on the top position and I'm gonna even land in the position that my opponent was uh, creating for me. From here guys I have many options. I can even attack a knee bar. I can back step to pass in the way <coughs> we're gonna have many situations to uh, pass right here. Okay so one more time I'm gonna show you on the other side so, then it was in the half guard, she crossed, and now 
She's here on top of my body. Again, everyone, I'm gonna either trap her elbow and grab her collar or her shoulder, or I'm just gonna push her elbow towards my hip. The second grip, either on the ankle or on her pants. From here, everyone, pinching knees together. Realize, everyone, I'm going to do this motion without opening my legs. Otherwise, exactly. Done is on my side, and now there's nothing I can do. Thank you. Okay? So I'm gonna pinch my knees together, and people, I'm gonna use grips and the control of the leg to throw Dania's shoulder on the floor, okay? Now, since her leg is up, there's no weight on top of me anymore, her weight is over my shoulder, I'm just gonna roll over the shoulder that I have on the floor to end up on top, and from here, I can start attacking my elbow, okay? One thing that is important for one, for this specific scenario, when I roll over my shoulder, so I was here, I was able to push my opponent on this side. When I roll backwards, give a little bit of pump in your legs. Okay, so when I roll back, I extend my legs so I can add some pressure to my hip and get a sweep. All right? It's one of my favorite sweeps, guys. I get this a lot. And you guys are gonna see this happening because a lot of the times when your opponent crosses the body over your body, they're gonna feel pretty comfortable so they're not expecting this sweep. Okay, I get this with a lot of people. Another situation, I just wanna mention this real quick, because <clears throat> let's say that I'm here, and I wanna bring Dani to the side, and she sits on the floor. If this happens, people, just bring yourselves up. Okay, there's no pressure anymore, and you just have to push her to the side. That's why when you push your opponent to the side, your opponent's gonna respond by dropping the weight on top of you. Okay, so we talked about this already in the weight distribution. I just wanna mention this real quick time so you guys can understand. So again, my goal is to do this with Doug, all right? To push her shoulder on the floor, extend the leg, boom, and I'm on top. If, when I do this, Dania sits, okay? Step on the floor, elbow on the floor, and just come up and you can even get a mount position from here. It's really simple. Your opponent removed the weight on top of you, so you just have to bring yourself up. Okay? So practice those, those two scenarios, everyone. If you guys have questions, of course, I'm here for you, all right? But again, try to feel your opponent's weight. Hip is above the floor, throw their weight to the other side. Hip is on the floor, just come up. Okay? Now let's train a little bit, people. Let's go. Okay, everyone. So, as we've been doing, Dani is starting in the half guard. I'm on top. For three minutes, Dani is gonna try to get her control and sweep. If she succeeds, we, we start over. From four, three minutes, I'm gonna try to prevent her from getting the control, try to get my control and pass. If I succeed on my passing, back from the beginning. Okay, one of you on top for three minutes, the other one, and then you guys switch, wipes on the bottom, get on top, just working specifically from the half guard position so we can learn a little bit. And guys, try to switch from one position to the other position. It's gonna be important for you guys to understand all the scenarios that you can use. Then you guys add as many rolls as you want. All right, thank you very much for watching again, everyone. I really appreciate it. Take care, guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Why do